stop the bleeding. I don't know where he got that type of uh, knowledge of how to, um, you know, stop, a, to stop the bleeding, but uh, this is something he did because of saving his brother's life, and he held his finger over there for a while, but he said no, the blood kept coming out, and so he just felt that he had to run out of the store, which he did. He ran um, between the, uh, the gunmen and went to call the police. He said, Mom, the blood kept coming out. But he said, Mom, the blood kept coming out. But he said, Mom, the blood kept coming out. But he said, Mom, the blood kept coming out. And so he just felt that he had to run out of the store, which he did. He ran um, between the, um, the gunmen and went to call the police. So he called the police. He was the first one to call the police. And he had put his finger. And he used to say he was hysterical. And um, he had put his finger. Put his finger inside the wound of his head. Of his head. Put his finger inside the wound of his head. The blood kept coming out. But he said, "Mom, the blood kept coming out." What was the emotional impact on your two surviving sons, the, the son who was hit and the, the son who was traumatic, 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 they changed completely. I have two totally different children in front of me at this point. Because of the situation, uh, they were just given a childhood. They were just forced to grow up. I mean, they were forced to be uh, very cautious very cool. of everyone. I had, they were fun, outgoing, loving, caring, and they became withdrawn. Very, well, my older child became very hostile. Well, my older child became very hostile. <laughs> 
Carl in, and that's what really angered me. I think I was at that point where I was really angry at society. And that's what really angered me. I think I was at that point where I was really angry at society. And now they take my other two boys because I can't. I can't take my other two sons because I can't trust them. And now they take my other two boys because I can't take my other two sons because I can't trust them to live here among the people in the society. And I struggled. I pushed all my children to struggle because I couldn't handle it. I just felt that I was a bad man. Because I couldn't handle it. I, I just felt that I was a bad one child, and I don't deserve it. I couldn't protect my one child, and I don't deserve it. Like denial, and I just calmly just blocked them out of my mind. And I just calmly just blocked them out of my mind. I just walked around like I didn't have any kids. It really made me crazy. 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 Crazy.